today I was going to show you how I organize my colors in the split cup. So I have my Payton's Gray Black mixture and my gold and my white. So I like to alternate those layers. And then I'm going to do two. I usually put them on the ends, but since I don't want the copper to be next to the white, or it makes an ugly orange color, I'm going to go ahead and put the two next to each other. So all the Payton's Gray area would be on one side to keep it away. And then I'll put the blue in, the, in that chamber to keep it away from to keep the copper away from the white. So the way I decide what color goes next to each other, if it would mix together and make an ugly color like brown, and I try to avoid putting those next to each other in the chamber. And then also the last chamber on both ends will in mix with the other chamber on the other end just a little bit if you pour it the way I do. If you're doing just lines, then it won't interact, but because I do mine, it's kind of circular, it will interact. So yeah, I just figured I'd share a little bit of how I organize my colors. And I do put a little bit of white with my deep turquoise, you'll see, but I keep it off to the right so that it doesn't mix too much with the um, copper. So these are more of the bad Floetrol paints. So they're definitely thicker, more like four seconds. And I would normally use more like three seconds for a split cup. So it's a little bit different than I would normally use. So I'm reusing a canvas for this particular pour, which means the paint doesn't really move as freely as it does on an unused canvas. So it is a little bit of a struggle to get the design where I want it to be, but I kind of like the way that it turned out in the end. But it'll, it'll take a little bit longer than usual to get the design I want because it all kind of pulls in the middle and it makes it really hard to stretch it out.